Welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're having a great time out there. Today we're going to do a little bit of a deep dive on the Jordan 1 versus the Jordan Airship. Let's have a look at the differences between the two sneakers. So, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're having a great time out there, I hope you're all looking after yourselves both mentally and physically and you keep pushing those barriers, you keep pushing those boundaries and you're on target for your goals in 2023 and you keep laying the foundation, you keep excelling, keep growing and you hit your targets for 2023 and your life goal targets because I want you to succeed, I want you to be on top and I want you to keep winning but also please do check out the Shoe Dog Podcast with me and the bro 808 Kicks ATL, where we talk about sneaker drama, sneaker news sneaker bad behavior because we always take that to sneaker court or public opinion and please do like follow subscribe come and chat to me let's have a conversation let's break it down and please do share if you like and please do put a notification bell on if you do follow me so you can actually tune into my latest videos and also on top of that stay awesome guys stay awesome but today we are looking at a comparison between two silhouettes two prominent silhouettes and it is hey presto shabang the jordan one versus or not versus but jordan one against the Jordan Airship. So today we're going to look at the comparisons between the two silhouettes of a Jordan Airship versus a Jordan 1. We know they're quite similarly tuned together but there's subtle differences which actually differentiates the Jordan Airship versus the Jordan 1. But before we look into that, let's have a look at the breakdown of the history before the Jordan 1 actually came out. We know about the Airship, it's supposed to be the pre-Jordan 1, the Jordan 1 that actually wasn't the band sneaker but the Airship was the band sneaker and basically Jordan actually wore it for half of the first season they actually rocked the actual Jordan range in the Nike range but this is basically a pre pro pro sneaker for the Jordan 1 this is basically the baseline the foundation that grew the Jordan 1 and when you look at the Jordan airship and as you can see it looks similar to a Jordan 1 this obviously isn't the Jordan 1 but you can look at this and you can actually at a glimpse you can probably think this is a Jordan 1 but there's subtle differences I'm going to break down the subtle differences between the Jordan airship and the Jordan 1 and as you can see guys when you pull all these models together when you have a look at these models you can see they're pretty much similar but there's still subtle differences with it that we need to talk about one of them is the outsole when you have a look at the outsole as you can see this is predominantly a Jordan 1 outsole and as you can see it's more of like that you've got those stars you've got a Nike in the middle you've got more of that well renowned traction on it but when you look at the airship as you can see this airship has predominantly more of a outstanding or a more protruding star effect to this it's actually got nike and it's got more of a cement grain to the nike there and even the actual nike mid tab is extended to the actual foot panel there as well which is a bit more different to the actual jordan one when you put them side by side you can actually see the subtle differences with this it's worth actually getting a jordan airship and actually have a look at it but this outsole predominantly reminds me of this sneaker which is actually the 85 cut and the 85 jordan actual reverse bread but you can see the actual predominance on the actual strip on this and the stars that are more kind of intrusive to the actual sneaker than it is on the jordan one and obviously you've got more of that grain that actually ritzed it's it's like a cement grain it's, it's less predominant than the jordan one unlike the stars but as you can see the comparison difference to the two sneakers you can see one is more predominant than the other and that's majorly different and obviously on the midsole you can see that actual midsole is more grainy more like a hard in like recess on this sneaker which kind of hits that predominantly on that sneaker so you can see that and you can see that comparison with the jordan one it is way 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 different it's more of a subtle grain to this a lot not, not like a rough grain on the actual uh, 85 cut which as you can see in the airship you've got more of that rough cut is, which is definitely like that 85 Jordan 1. The sneaker base itself is from an 85 cut, except for the fact that obviously this has got that extended mid panel that actually hits the foot, uh, or actually hits the toe of the foot, which is way, way different. But that's the Jordan Airship outsole and basically midsole. But when you look at the sneaker itself, as you can see, the back panel is like one panel and it's got this top layer which actually hits it, which is a segmented pair. It's got this like literal stitch at the back which actually kind of 
brings the sneaker together but when you look at the Jordan 1 it's panelled all over at the back it's got that predominant back tab panel it's got the swoosh actually that runs to rather than having a full kind of unit stitch there it's basically got that actual tab that connects the swooshes and then you've got the top layer the ankle layer and that wings logo and that's the other thing on the actual Jordan airship it doesn't have which is that wings logo that hits that sneaker as well which is dope because like you got the Nike Air on the back guys you got the Nike Air on the back because obviously we know this is predominantly a Nike sneaker and rather than a Jordan sneaker and obviously this was a prototype so they have to have Nike on the back but that's a nice little touch everybody liked that Nike on the back but that's one thing that's missing obviously on the Jordan I know they did the Jumpman early on but this is a way way different this I like this it's cleaner it's more sleeker I do wish they did release the band with the X on the back but you can see that actually is different and when you come into the toe you can see the toe on this Jordan 1 and the stitch on the actual first lace holes that go through this this is more of a better view there as you can see it's stitched in it's not separate it's one unit and but the jordan airship is separate guys as you can see you more of that toe comes in which is similar to the jordan one but then you've got a separate stitch panel which actually is separate and it's actually elasticated it almost reminds me of a strap that's been cut and laced punched through with holes and you can see there's no holes then you've got this more of this elastic kind of feel to this as you can see there's a more of an elastic strap there which is more of a lockdown feature it might be because it gives you more of that flexibility when you can actually kind of step in it gives you that elasticity that you need to actually kind of work that sneaker in but that's one of the things that is pretty much different so this is not definitely not stitched in like you can see it's separate and you've got this elastic unit but this is more of a solid base unit this reminds me of a predominantly all one stitch sneaker that actually predominantly is a unit sneaker that it holds and binds together rather than the airship which is more of a two panel system where it's got more of a lever to lever then it's got this elastic that runs through which is covered by these actual two straps or two little panels or lever panels which are actually kind of separate from the sneaker and actually kind of cover that elasticity for the sneaker but that's the difference in between the actual Jordan airship uppers and obviously you got little subtle hints and little subtle features like this actual panel at the front where the laces are which runs through it as well but also you can find inside the sneaker as well and this is one thing shout out to the bro scott we actually just bought this as well there's no actual cardboard or board blast on this sneaker in the inside it's more of a straight to midsole sneaker and then when you look at the actual jordan airship it's got more of a cardboard inner lining which is a board blast which is similar to the 85 cut so when you look at the jordan airship it should remind you of more of a similar unit to the jordan 185 cut which is probably more reflective unit to why this is more like the 85 cut because it's more of a vintage sneaker that should have been in 84 so the 85 cut is is spot on with this look you could almost compare this to the 85 cut especially the fact that most of the features on the 85 actually hit the jordan airship but also on top of that obviously this is a jordan when you compare like the predecessor to the jordan that's the airship when this came along and then we get the modernized version which is the jordan one that we see today obviously this is a homage to home with the extended tongue there is different aspects but i would say the Jordan airship kind of is a very 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 nice pro show to what we got with the Jordan 1 even the actual outsole unit as you can see with this unit the mid panel of this unit is more slimmer so basically this is the reason why I feel like people that rock this or people that actually want to buy the Jordan airship need to go half a size up but when you compare it I'm going to give you a prime example is when you compare it you can see more when you when you kind of put it together you see well you will see more jordan than anything else like when you put it together you can see like out shades of that jordan one come out through the sneaker i'm gonna line these up properly when i can see it so like you can see the jordan one is a bit more thicker as you can see on the mid-range as well and you can actually see like the outsole of the actual jordan one is way more fatter in the mid-range this is why I feel like if you don't go half a size up, your feet kind of get cramped and you kind of not really suits to kind of tight fit. So you kind of can't walk in it properly. But I do feel like the Jordan Airship is comfortable. It's really comfortable. It's a really comfortable sneaker, but the insole on it is actually like a dream sole insole, which is a weight wall thicker. So I kind of think it brings more comfortability with it. But the Jordan Airship is a beautiful silhouette. I think this is a fresh new take and a fresh new look to the actual Jordan range. It brings something nice. It brings something dope i do like the corporate gum i do like the different colorways they're bringing i do like these plain white ones as well it's this tech gray is absolutely dope 
but that's predominantly the main features or the main differences between the Jordan 1 and the Jordan Airship. They're both great sneakers. To me personally, I do like that fresh touch with the Jordan Airship. We've got way more Jordan Airships that release, which are similar to the Tech Gray. So when you want to have a look at those sneakers, have a proper look at the actual constructability of it. But that Jordan Airship is way more closer to the 85 cut than it is to the regular Jordan 1 if you actually put them together. So this is why I wanted to do the comparison to show you guys what the differences are between the two silhouettes. They both great silhouettes but do 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 go and try the jordan airship if you get a chance to i know they go and sell there's a lot of pairs out there that you can actually go and pick up and get actually for cheap and they're so so good to wear as i'm not joking such a great silhouette such a dope silhouette so go and try yourself a jordan airship it's a nice alternative to all the jordan ones we keep getting because i know a lot of people get tired with the jordan ones i know the jordan one more I've came out that's actually sitting at this moment in time so do go and try a jordan airship rather than the jordan one and see how you feel because sometimes it's good to have something different in your rotation and something unique this is this feels a way more slicker this wheel feels a way more executed like simple but executed nicely if you get what i mean but the jordan one has all those classic panels the classic back panels the classic wings logo panels the classic toe panels everything on the jordan one feels like it's structurally designed to be absolute brilliance but when you go back a little feature further when you go it's almost like looking at the jordan 3 then looking at the jordan 4 then looking at jordan 5 the evolutions of the actual silhouettes and that's similar to what we see with the jordan airship whenever you've got the jordan airship then we've got the jordan 1 or jordan 85 cut and all of that stuff actually combined to bring that actual jordan range into their supreme supremacy as it is at the moment so it's so good to see but like i say go and buy the sneakers you like because you all deserve to get the sneakers you want guys thank you for tuning in i just wanted to give a little bit of a background to the jordan one silhouette and the manufacturing and making the constructability and the differences between the jordan one and the jordan airship hope you did like the comparison guys what is your favorite silhouette between the two do you prefer the jordan airship or do you prefer the jordan one would you ever go and buy the jordan airship would you actually rock it and put it on feet what are you waiting for in terms of the jordan airship and are you tired of the jordan one silhouette let me know your thoughts put your comments down let's have a conversation let's break it down like we always do but thank Thank you for tuning in guys and thank you for all the love and support watch out guys this sunday i might drop a video to give you an insight into a giveaway i'm doing just because i hit 1k it's good to always give back so watch out for that i'm going to give further details this sunday so tune into that guys but like i say at the end of the video at the end of the channel hope you have an amazing week amazing month and an amazing year and i hope you guys cop the sneakers you like because you deserve to get the sneakers you want and make sure you buy some brilliant, different, unique sneakers because it's always good to have variety in your sneakers. From me, TJ, I love Kit Customs. Peace out for now, guys, and peace.